Today, for the first time ever, we're gonna take a look into the Dagor Dagoroth mod for BFME 2, The Rise of the Witch King, which has plenty of new content. And unfortunately, I won't be able to showcase you every single one of the factions in one single video. And for that reason, I need your help. I need you guys to tell me in the comment section down below if you wanna see more videos about this mod. And if yes, which faction should we cover the next time? Because for the first video, I'm actually gonna choose Mordor. Let's choose Mordor, just why not? I wanna see if there is a lot of stuff changed in this Mordor faction. Okay, we are also using the test map for this purpose, for this testing. Just because in the testing map, you have actually no money problems, you can do whatever you want, you don't have to wait. And the first impression you see, like, there is like a lava magma around the fortress, so they added like a, a basement floor, similar to BFME 2. In BFME 2, everything is dark. This is a bit more detailed. I like the look of this quite a lot. On the left side of your screen, you have the chance to change the view of your camera, but I think that's nothing new. We have seen this many, many times from many, many other mods, so I don't want to go too much into the detail. Okay, so let's click on the fortress playing system Mordor. Sauron is the central figure of Mordor. The more powerful he is, the more benefits the faction receives, particularly in, the, in regards to the military and heroes. At level 3, 6 and 9, Sauron unlocks the option to call upon one of his most powerful domains to assist them. Sirit Ungol, Minas Morgul and Dol Guldur. Each domain consists of its own building, units and heroes and fortress spells. I mean, that sounds promising. We have also the chance to recruit plenty of new heroes. Gothmog, for example, is not new. <laughs> we know him. Camille for 3000. And in this map, we have the chance to recruit them in a few seconds, which is pretty time saving. Recruit a Nazgul. Another Nazgul? The mouth of Sauron, a lot of stuff about the lore, if you want to take a look into that and read a lot into it. And then we have also the chance to recruit Murloc, okay? Lots of lore stuff as you can see and tell. And also the main reason why I like this map is because we don't need to level up the heroes manually by fighting. We have on this map plenty of, um, you know, level up things. We can just use them and get them all the way to level 10. So we can take a look much, much easier into all their abilities, okay? What is this actually? Mordor statue. I mean, it's also something we don't see very often. I genuinely like this fortress expansion or the fortress floors. I think that looks pretty nasty. I like it. Looks pretty good. And let's level up the heroes. And, you know, they have actually very similarities to the Edeen mod with the ring. So when you, you know, grab the ring in the normal with me to arise of the witch, you can bring it to your fortress. And then you have the chance to... Um, you know, recru um, to recruit either Sauron when you play the evil faction or Galadriel if you play the good faction. But in the Rin mod especially, it was like that each individual hero, not all of them, but many of them, could pick up the ring and the ring would affect them directly, which was actually very nice. And they also added that, which is, you know, pretty good. Okay, let's level them up all together. We have a level 10 Nazgul now. We have the chance to use the raid form. The ring raids removes his rope and transforms into an invisible apparition in this form. He cannot attack, but can cast certain spells. After a while, he dons his shadowy rope on and is visible again. Available only on foot. And look at that. He has even a second Palantir in which you can... Get him mounted or dismounted. Mount a fell beast. Oh, that's crazy. And then it changes, his picture changes too. And now you can get them dismounted from the from the fell beast. You have the dread visage for the debuff, the screech, the mogoblade. And again, we have here the chance to... What is this? Robe of the Shadow Prince. Requires level 5 or Sauron with the Silmaril. The Nazgul is instructed to destroy the enemies of Mordor on the field, and its darkest self, what? <laughs> he receives a robe covered with Morgul inscriptions. Fl My English, by the way, I, did I told you guys? <laughs> I'm not a native English speaker, and these are not easy words by all means, okay? I'm sorry for that, I'm sorry. Okay, don't hate me for that one. Okay, I want to actually use this one, the ray form. I want to I wanna see how it looks like. Oh, ooh, this looks sexy, dude. Just like in the films, dude, in the better top. You know what I'm saying? When Aragorn in the film was saving the halflings. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty cool. 
it's like a time remaining thing it's like a summon duration and after that you can actually be you will be visible again but in this form you can not attack apparently but you can still use morgoblade or you can use screech but you cannot auto attack apparently we can try but i don't think it's gonna be working out okay let's pick up the power points now <laughs> we cannot pick this one army of the past ages but hold on a second i don't want to lose time with the nazgul i want to see if it's gonna work out or not the Volk animation when they are walking just like in the in the film i like that look you can't attack but can they attack you actually yeah they can't attack you either but you are still debuffing them with your passive so again all your abilities can you know seem to be working you can even get mounted or whatever but you can't uh, you know attack them with auto attacks it's not possible what is this okay nice Oh, now the Shadow Prince. Nice. Curse of. I mean, dude. Like, imagine how much content is inside one single hero. Like, you have different Palantir pictures. You have even multiple abilities which doesn't fit into one Palantir. That's why you have the chance to switch over, and then you can turn them into multiple different things which resets their abilities. Now we have another one. Curse of the Shadow Prince. The Shadow Prince reveals himself the cruel magic which curses anyone who dares raise. Is sword against them all damage dealt to shadow prince is reflected by 50 percent so it's like a torn damage whenever he gets attacked 50 percent of the damage goes back to the guy who attacks him and imagine if this guy is tanky and he's quite tanky with 6500 hp i believe in a multiplayer game if you would choose to shoot him with your archers he wouldn't die but your archers would i mean i think the mods they are not made for multiplayer balance purposes they are made for like entertainment purposes exclusively for a single player experience and i think it's fine look at the shadow though <laughs> okay now we have also the moloch the troll he has also the chains with plenty of new abilities king of the trolls uh, what is this okay it's like a leadership i think you have also the chains fury of the troll king moloch falls into a short-term frenzy and gets more damage and armor They've also the chains troll jump. I think that's like a leap attack from from Rogash. Yeah, <laughs> leap attack from Rogash. A rocky rampage. Moloch steps his weapon into the ground, smashing small rocks into the air. Enemy buildings receive enormous damage. I want to see. A, I want to take a look into that. Attack of the troll shafts trolls. But first of all, let's take a look into this one. No, no, no. Hold on. Okay, decent damage but has no animation and this one moloch calls for the eat of a troll from the troll shows to spot him the troll will stay beside his king until death i mean that's not one troll oh but it's like it's lying to you they are not permanent <laughs> they are not permanent they are pretty much like attack trolls they have like a time remaining but i think it's quite busted but again, you actually need to be level 10 for level 5 only. Dude, this guy, when you would get him level 5, he's like a one-man army. Imagine you have like 5 trolls now. And they have also leadership from him, right? They will deal more damage or be more tanky. And they have more damage, more tankiness, and also more combat experience. Okay, so we can agree that this is not very balanced. <laughs> that this is going to be kind of kind of busted. Now we have the Mouth of Sauron. He has also a new ability, Palantia of the... Like, you have... You, what is this? Wards of delusion the mouth blinds his foes with deceitful wards enemy units in the target location temporarily lose half their range in vision also also affect siege weapons but not monsters uh, the mouth of sauron sows discord among his enemies i mean like he has multiple different debuffs i think the mouth speaks in words that brings about heavy hearts and hopelessness within the enemy ranks. Enemies in the target area are only half as fast. Cavalry also slow down when trampling over enemies twice as much. And then we have also the ability Wards of Misery. The wards of the mouth of mouth pursued enemy heroes the hopelessness of their situation in mind and break their resilience. Heroes, am I English? Sorry, guys. Heroes in the target area for the duration of the ability have only half their armor. So you can even debuff the enemy heroes. It's pretty, pretty nice. 
Okay. So Morgul Sorcery, the mouth of Sauron uses black magic to bring lightning to his fingertips. Oh, okay, I want to see this actually. You have also Dark Veil. And the last one is Evil Eye. So I think Evil Eye, we have, we have seen this already many, many times. It's very similar to the Easter Light from Gandalf. It's like the evil form of the Easter Light. The creep is gone, so we can actually move up. Okay, so what we also can do later on, I will, I will show you guys. What happened to the power points I picked, by the way? They all disappeared. What happened? Okay, there they are, okay. I see you. Where are you, Mouth of Sauron? Okay. We have also Goth Mark. Level up. We can level them up all to level 10. No problem. Camille and Nazgul, they have a different picture. Okay, so let's use this one. Ah, not available while mounted. So I need to get this, uh, this mounted. I want to see how this is looking like. Oh. Okay, it's like a lightning sword or what? Yeah, it's exactly like a lightning sword. I think it's like an evil form of the, of the Gandalf, you know what I'm saying? An evil eye will also be looking very similar to the Easter light. Yeah, look, it's like a red light, you know, instead of the blue light from Gandalf. So pretty similar. And if you don't know, in this map, you have also uh, the chance to find the One Ring. And like I said at the beginning of this, um, it works kind of the same way like, for example, the Eden mod works. So you can pick up the ring with certain heroes, and if you pick them up, it will have a direct impact on this hero you pick the ring with, you know? So first of all, we gotta find the ring though. Maybe we can use Eye of Sauron to find it a bit faster. I see you. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get the power points. We need to unlock every single power point. So I can showcase you every single power from every single faction. But maybe in the following videos we can do that. No problemo. Okay, so we have also the chance to buy upgrades from the fortress, just like, you know, in the normal BFME. We have all the heroes captured and purchased and recruited. And I'm still looking for a chance. I'm still looking for a chance to actually... Um... <laughs> My daughter just came. I'm still looking for a chance to actually uh, find the one rank. <laughs> Hold on a second, please. Okay, I mean, where is the one ring, dude? Where is Gollum? Gollum, why are you hiding from me? Oh, that's unfortunate, but I like this fortress design quite a lot, guys. And with this ability now, we have also the chance, I believe, to get the Gorgoroth Spire Fireball, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh, now you can, now you don't have the Gorgoroth Spire Fireball, but you can recruit the Dark Lord himself. That's pretty nasty, I like that. So, you don't actually have to find the one ring to be able to get Sauron up on the field. And would you look at him, boys? Is fully dark and there's like the Mordor statue with the green you know Morgul like Minas Morgul style of a of a design and in the meantime while the Dark Lord is moving and walking we can actually take a look into the Gothmog uh, Gothmog's war I mean okay you can get mounted but would you look at that Gothmog grants all allied orc near him 25% damage with level 1 at level 4 he will give them more damage. At level 7, he will give them more damage. At level 10, he will give them more severe resistant. And we can also use his ability to, to get mounted. Pretty good. I call the heart. Please command Gothmog in strikes an orc, orc pit. Oh, it's like a call the heart ability, yeah. From BFME 1. Send back the prisoners. Gothmog orders the catapults to launch the prisoners back. Okay. And then we have the attack order. Gothmog gives his man the order to finally push. A light orc and siege units near him briefly causes double damage and only receives 25% damage from arrows and siege attacks. That's actually quite busted. For a very cheap and you know, cost efficient hero like Gothmog, I think that can be actually pretty, pretty disturbing in a multiplayer game. But once again, I need to repeat myself. You know, these mods, they are normally not made for multiplayer purposes. They are only made for a single player. So, if you want to enjoy your time playing some single-player games against AI, I think it's quite fun. But again, if you are into that, of course. Okay, the Dark Lord. We have now the chance to Dol Guldur Garrison. Dark Lord request the support of Dol Guldur. Unlocks the construction of the Dol Guldur dungeon. And Minas Morgul. 
catacombs and also Sirit Ungol. Hmm, I want to actually go for it with the Dol Guldur. Let's take a look into that one first. But you can only choose it one single time if I'm not mistaken. And what I what can I do now with that? Um, oh, something is happening around this area, as you can see. Hmm. Do I need to build a fortress now, or? Yeah, Minas Morgul. Nah, Dol Guldur dungeon. Okay, so you have the buildings with the build available. However, in order to be able to use them, uh, you need to first of all make a choice with this hero. And you can ah, you can make it anyway. You can do whatever you want. You have not the chance. You, you don't have you. I'm sorry, my bad. I, I thought you will only be able to choose one of them. But no, that's not the case. You can actually choose all of them at the same time. So hold on. We can actually build. Um, also, no, that's not this. We need Mordor. Oh, would you look at that? That's crazy, dude. I mean, how complex is one faction, man? Now you have the chance to use the Gorgoroth's Fire Fireball too. Let's do... That's, I like that. I want to see the animation. The animation is looking pretty much like in Bifumi 2. Nothing special about that one. But I still think that the animation is looking pretty dope, you know? It's, it's pretty nice, though, for a very old game like that. And again, I mean, we can use it multiple times, but also we have the Minas Morgul unleashed. The dark, the war for Arda has begun. The Dark Lord orders his generals to bring destruction on the free people. Briefly, the armies of Mordor charge across the battlefield with increased speed. The Witch King, upon being crowned Lord of Minas Morgul and Gothmog are sent to lead the armies in a siege against the free peoples, granting them new abilities. Can only be activated if Threat of the East or Call the Heart, a uh, Call of the Black Country is not active. That's crazy. What is this? Summons a build, a build pilot where you can build the Morgul fortresses. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. And the music too. <laughs> that's crazy. Hold on. Okay, and what is this again? Uh, the Dol Guldur dungeon. Spiderlings we can recruit, Castellan we can recruit, Spiderlings, I mean we know that from the Goblin faction, nothing, nothing too crazy about that one. As you can see when you choose the Minas Morgul design, uh, you have like this green thing around your buildings. If also the chance to, I mean that's kind of crazy my man, like I don't know, that's so complex you know. I like this dark thing, you know, just like in the Minas Tirith, you remember? When in Minas Tirith the fight actually break out, the darkness, it like also this lightning around it. It was pretty, pretty cool and I think this, they actually were trying to take a lot from the books and kind of combining this with the films a little bit to make it as detailed as possibly can, I mean lore-wise. And again, I know many, many people that are into that kind of stuff by reading a lot about the units and also their, you know, backup stories. And for that reason, I'm assuming that it might be enjoyable for many, many of you guys. So let me, again, please know in the comment section down below if you want to see more of that in the in the future on this channel. Okay. What is this? We, we built this? This is the prison, right? No. So... This is the Srit Ungol prison. Make yourself useful. Oh, and these are the castle lands. I think it's like a singular unit. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's almost as strong as a hero. <laughs> you know, it looks like a hero in my opinion. But you, you don't, you don't have the chance to. I mean, you can recruit. Ah, you can only have five of them at the same time. They are working like a special unit in the Rise of the Witch King. So remember, there are some in in the normal Rise of the Witch King 2.02. You have also the ability or the chance to recruit certain units, like Black Rider from Mordor, for example. But they are limited to a certain amount. Because they are just too powerful, if you would have like more of them, it would be kind of busted. And I think that's the same thing around this side. You can only have like five of them on the on the field at the same time. But also they cost only 700. But again, you first of all need to recruit you know, Sauron, which I believe in a multiplayer game is not going to happen every single time, you know? Okay, that's the building now, Black Uruk Archer, Black Uruk Warriors. 
yeah, they have also a different picture. The bloodthirsty to actually eat the allied units. Black Uruk Archer, they look like this. Pretty okay, I think. But again, I genuinely don't care about graphics that much. For me, it's about the content of the of the mods. And I mean, the only graphic I care about is actually this one. I think this one is looking pretty nice, you know? It looks like a small Mordor in Forts of Eisen. It looks pretty nice. Okay. Um, what else can I show you guys? I mean, again, we have not even seen 50% of that faction, I believe. <laughs> but I want to see Sauron. Where is Sauron at? Okay, I think he has more abilities too, right? Yeah, of course. So, Slaves of His Will. All power of Mordor comes from the Dark Lord. On level 3, 6 and 9, Sauron is able to activate one of his... Yeah, we have seen this already. It, on level 10. The ring raids can be recruited after death without paying resources. Okay. A wandering shadow. The necromancer retreats into the shadows and repeatedly flies to the target location. Distance is limited. So you don't die, actually. That's crazy. Can I teleport? Look at this, dude. That's looking pretty sick to me. Okay. We have also uh, the power of the damned. Can be applied to any mortal unit. Sauron transfers a part of his own necromantic power inside the shell of another unit. As such, this power will release itself upon death and harm nearby enemies. Depending on the size of the unit and the power it contains determines the amount of necromantic, necromantic power that can be stored. We're gonna take a look into that. I wanna do this actually on Mouth of Sauron or maybe on this troll. Yeah, I, wanna, I wanna use this on this troll actually right off the bat. Can I use it on the stroll? Not sure. What's this one, right? Yes. Nah, can I not use it? Um. Okay, maybe on a, on a, on a on a Nazgul. Nah, I can't use it on any of them. I'm pretty interesting. I mean, maybe I'm missing out something. Did I actually? Left click on the desired target allied units. M maybe I need to do it on, on, a, on a unit battalion like this. Maybe, I don't know. Nope. Maybe Uruks. <laughs> I want to really try one more time. Give me a second, please, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Look, on them I can use it. Did you use it? I don't know what's going on. There is no animation because he's all, all in shadow, you know? We don't see anything about him. Okay. Eternal Traldom. The Necromancer forces a selected raid of the raid world into, the, his, into his service, binding him with cursed robes to enable him to influence the living world. Hold on. Uh, nope. Not this. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, the last ability is Ruler of Fire. Sauron unleashes a mighty heat wave in all directions. Hit allied units, heroes, and monsters gain a resistance against fire for 30 seconds. Enemies become 75% more vulnerable against fire. So we can take a look into that. I think you cannot activate this. I mean, okay, looks pretty sexy to me, man. I like that. But I think he's not as strong here as he normally is in, you know, in his real strong form. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a, one more shot to actually try to find the one rank. Because there is a one rank. There is the rank on this map and I just need to find him. And I want to actually take a look if I can capture the one rank with, uh, with this out on. And if this would change him and make him a bit more, you know, stronger. I want to I see this. So we need to kind of split up out a little bit. Um, it's kind of funny though. When you load first into this mission or into this map, the rings are lying on the ground. But then they disappear and you need to kill the golem once again for whatever reason. I don't know why, <laughs> but that's definitely the case. I, wanna, I don't want to try too much though. I don't want to waste your guys' time. If I'm not going to be able to find it anytime soon, we can try that the second time. Again, it depends all on you guys if you want to see more of that in the future on this channel. And also, right off the bat, I think I just forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video. Um, 
Guys, I genuinely and personally don't care about the fights between any mods with each other. That's not my problem and it shouldn't be your problem either. Uh, I'm not into these discussions and I don't want to have any bad drama happening around me. So please, if you are looking for commenting something like this in the comments, don't. Because, just don't, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I think the rings are gone. I believe. I've not seen them at all. So we can take a look into that the next time. And also, next time I would like to play myself against AI. Maybe this way I can get all the power points unlocked because I would love to take a look into these new abilities. Wisdom of the Past, for example, a week again. The Forgotten Power of Sauron, which he lost in his decline. Garthor recovers his old knowledge acquired during the first ages of Arda. Also unlocks the Minas Morgul Fortress inside the main fortress. Pretty good. We have also the chance Rage of the Lord of Minas Morgul brings the uh, damn Damnation of Minas Morgul over the selected area. Enemy units and buildings become devastated by the unimaginably dark magic. But this one is the most interesting. Army of the Past. How, um, summons the support of the armies of Angbad, heroes Glaurung and Korkarov. <laughs> Summoned hero Morgov. Morgov. Guys, you can legit summon Morgov in this mod. Morgov. You know what Morgov is? You know how, who Morgov is? That's crazy. I've seen this a couple of years ago on, on in some of the other YouTube videos. I've seen Morgov in, in, of this, in this mod. And since then, I was always interested in that. You know what I'm saying? You have Morgov, Melkor, this kind of stuff inside this. You have Smaug, for example, inside this mod too. But again, we will have to fight a lot to be able to unlock all the power points we need to summon those creatures. And again, if you want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to be it from this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. And also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, guys.